Hey guys, I'm Royal Schoen out of Phoenix, Arizona. If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Porsche Cayenne, you're gonna need some wiring done. Let's take a look at the installation process. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. The wiring installation will be done behind the driver's side taillights and the passenger side taillight inside the cargo area. Let's go ahead and take a look. The taillight wiring harness is located behind the panels on the driver's side and the passenger side. To access the taillight wiring harness, we'll have to remove the panels on both sides. To remove the paneling, we need to start by removing the flooring. To remove the flooring, we will start by removing four cargo hooks. Each hook is secured by two screws. We will use a T30 torque bit to remove those screws. Next, we're going to lift up the cargo door and flip it over and remove the flooring sets on the driver and the passenger side. So you might need to give these a little tug. Next, we're going to remove the rear threshold, which is held down by clips. And all you have to do is just lift up. And then this is removable foam. It's okay if it comes out, just snap it right back in. And the clips I was referring to are located here. With the flooring removed, so we can now pull the driver's side paneling back and to gain access to the taillight harness. I will be using a trim panel tool to assist me. We don't have enough space to gain access to our taillight wiring harness, so we have to remove the taillight. To do so, we're going to start by removing the side panel on the upper left corner and just work our way down. With the black panel removed, it will reveal two screws, which we will remove using the T30 torque bit. Next, we have to remove the tail light, and we're gonna do so by taking our left hand and pulling it forward, and taking our right hand, kind of bumping towards the rear of the car. We have to remove the driver's side tail light wiring harness, and we'll do so by pulling back on this tab and pulling back on the wiring harness. Next, we're going to remove the grommet. So now that the grommet's removed, we're gonna go ahead and reposition it about three and a half inches from the connector. So to do that, we're going to first remove this black tape. Now we're going to reposition the grommet to the three and a half inches. Next, we're gonna use our light tester to probe for our left turn signal, our brake light, and our running lights. Next, we're going to push the grommet and the connector through the body of the vehicle and pull it out into the cargo area. Now we will attach our connectors to our wires. Each connector is labeled with its function. To attach the connector, the wire will sit on the channel. We want to make sure the arrow is facing the tail light. Now we will route the connector for the right turn signal over to the passenger side along the flooring. In order to connect it, we will simply repeat all the steps we did on the driver's side. Back on the driver's side, we're going to ground the white wire to the body behind the paneling using the provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we'll be connecting our power wire to our black wire on our converter box. Using U-Haul's exclusive power wire, which includes protective loom to shield the wire from the elements. We're going to connect our power wire and our black wire using the heat shrink butt connector. Now we're gonna drop the power wire to the grommet on the driver's side rear bottom flooring. Now we're gonna route our power wire along the driver's side underneath to the engine compartment, avoiding any hot, sharp, or moving parts. Now that we've routed the power wire up towards the gas tank, we're going to continue routing it to the underbody paneling. And in order to do so, we have to remove five screws using a T30 torque bit. 
Now that we've removed the five screws along the body paneling, we can pull it down and fish our power wire through the paneling. I threaded our power wire, our black power wire, to the engine compartment and threaded it up along the heat shield under this black side panel to the positive post. Now we want to connect our power wire to our positive post by removing this nut right here with a 13 millimeter socket. Now we're going to connect our fuse holder to our U-Haul exclusive power wire where all you have to do is plug and play. Now we're going to connect our ring terminal back onto our power post. So along right here and place the nut back on top and tighten it down. Now we're going to place our 15 amp fuse into our fuse holder and then place the cap on top. So now we're gonna clean up our wires and in doing so, we're gonna bundle up our slack that we had, put a zip tie around it and just tuck these wires back behind our positive post. So now I'm just putting our screws that we unscrewed for the side paneling underneath here back in and cleaning up any zip ties or uh, anything else that is hanging down. Now I have to program the trailer wiring using the learn mode process per the wiring directions. Starting by testing each functionality for five seconds. Left turn signal, right turn signal, header lights, and brake. Just as a quick side note, the tail lights do have to be plugged in in order for the programming process to work. Our next step is to determine where to store our four flat. There are two locations we can store it at, either in the cargo area here, so when you're ready to pull a trailer, you simply bring out the wiring and it rests right here on the seal, or we bring this wiring, the four flat, through the grommet where we had our power wire go through and route it under here and mount it right here. Let me show you how to do both. As I said, in order to mount the four flat next to the hitch, we're going to have to take the four flat and thread it through the same grommet we used for the power wire. So now I'm pulling the four flat down and I'm gonna route it over the exhaust through this bumper right here. And we're gonna bring the four flat out this end and install the bracket. Right here is usually a good place. Do this. And usually these two screws would go in if you were mounting it for real. However, this customer does not want the mounted bracket underneath the car, but rather in the cargo area. So I pulled the four flat connector back out from the hitch area and put it in the cargo area. The grommet is now back in place, but I put a tiny slit in it so that the power wire that's running through it can sit nicely in it. So now we're gonna take our provided foam tape and wrap them around each ZCI connector to prevent any sliding or bumping. So now we're gonna place our taillight connector back through these holes on the driver's side to its original place. Now that the grommet is back in place, we're going to finish taping the outside of the wires. And now we're going to reinstall our driver's side taillight. And then we will simply repeat all the steps on the passenger side. In order to clean up these wires and put back the panel, we're just gonna take our converter box and rest it right back onto the grommet. And then make sure these wires are tucked. And now that we have our wires neatly tucked and secured, we're ready to go ahead and put our cargo paneling back together. And now we are going to place our rear threshold panel and making sure we're lining up these two clips with these two holes right here. And let's not forget placing the seal back on top. So with your four flat stowed in your cargo area, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. When you're ready to tow a trailer, it'll rest right here and avoid the latch. Nice and snug. And so as you can see, there was no exterior damage to any of the wiring 
And then let's go ahead and store our wire nice and neat in the cargo area. Close this latch. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Have fun towing your trailer, enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you out there. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.